Where do you want me to look? I'm gonna look right here. Right directly on the camera. Hello, I'm Clarence Gilliard Jr. And hi, I'm... <laughs> We're rolling, right? I, I forgot what movies I was in. Clarence Gilliard Jr. became a professor of film and theater at UNLV in 2006, bridging the gap between the two worlds for his students. He guest lectured at universities from Albania to Baltimore when not co-teaching advanced directing with Francisco Menendez every Wednesday. A beloved mentor and colleague, Clarence was a member of the Directors Guild, Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, and Actors' Equity. Hey, where the hell are you going? Merry Christmas. Hello. My name is Clarence Gilliard, and this is a letter to my younger self. Dear Clarence Jr., I know that sometimes it's difficult to add the junior to the end of your name, but that's what everybody calls you. So I'm teasing you by writing it this way. As I see you now, I wish that I could come back and be you because you're a pretty good kid. I realize that you're not the biggest and you're not the fastest. You're definitely not the best looking, but you got a great smile and you got, you got some smarts. So that means you're pretty much average and average from where I sit at 63 is pretty good. On the subject of your intelligence and your creativity, I don't think you see your potential. I appreciate that you play hard and don't listen to what anybody says about crying. It's okay to cry. It means you care. And as a matter of fact, when you get to be my age and you have to cry for a living, you'll wish that you cried as easily as you do now. Keep reading. At 63, I see that a lot of people don't read enough. They don't read books. And keep reading the books that you read, the books about great people and great athletes and people who care about helping other people. Those seem to be the foundations for the creative work that I'm doing now that I think that you're capable of, especially now that there's what we call more diversity in the world, where women and marginalized parts of the community and ethnicities are understood to be, like I said, just like anybody else. Be thankful for what you have because I've traveled a lot and you don't know this, but you're gonna travel a lot, and you're gonna see a lot, and you're gonna realize that the things that you were sad that you didn't have when you were young are huge compared to what some people don't have in the world. You'd be very surprised. Most of all, guess what? You're not gonna be a fighter pilot. You're not gonna be a football player. You're not even gonna be an attorney or an accountant. You're going to be an actor and a director and a producer. It is something to dream about. It is something to study hard, to get better at. It's something to be proud of because everybody has stories and they don't necessarily have the permission to tell them like we do, actors and producers and directors. That's what we get to do for a living, hold up the mirror in front of those people who are just like us, who we are just like and give them the permission to learn about themselves that other people may have taken away from them. Uh, I love you. That's not an easy thing to say to yourself. I don't even know if you can really say it like this, but you're a good kid. Yours truly, Clarence, without the junior.